Honourable Sukas. Um, thank you, Chair. Um, Advocate Mkwebane, I just have a few questions and let me also state to you that you certainly have my empathy for having to appear before a committee this size and it must be hard. And so you really have my empathy with that. I um, want to ask you, do you believe that you should take responsibility for the omissions of your staff and the actions of your staff? And then uh, Mr. Ibrahim spoke on Monday, the need for the public protector to be accessible and that this is an active role. Mr. Van Lochenberg is what I think, and I Googled him yesterday, uh, uh, what we can call a public figure. You also had his lawyer's details. What more should you have done or your office to ensure that his rights were upheld and that he was heard, that he um, had the opportunity to be heard? You stated in public that the special investigation um, or the high-risk unit was a rogue unit and indicated that people had died prior to the conclusion of an investigation. When his lawyers asked you not to do this, you stated through your lawyers and said you would not do so and that he should sue you. Given that only very wealthy individuals in this country or members and that members of the public cannot afford um, public um, representation, um, afford lawyers uh, to, to, that would be able to defend them in that way, um, and that you have the, the unlimited resources, almost unlimited resources of the state at your disposal. Do you think that this was fair and that it granted access to such an individual? Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Sukas. Advocate Mukwane. Thank you, Chairperson and Honorable Member. I will also uh, prefer to respond on this in writing. Thank you. 